everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the December Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as showing you how to make this cat on a planet charm using polymer clay and also other supplies included in the box. So in the December Elves box we received UV varnish sealer, a bottle of matte sealer, colour shift pigment, holographic glitters, neon confetti, five gold foil sheets, black hollow pigment powder, gold hollow pigment powder, two miniature polar bears, a random assortment of dried flowers, UV resin, blue crystal LED resin, and a container of different gems and embellishments. So now let's move on to the tutorial. To begin making the planet, I'm creating a mixture of purple and navy polymer clay. I then rolled the clay between the palm of my hands to create a nice round shape. Next up, I'm taking the holographic glitters and the colour shift pigment. I started off with the pigment and I'm using the little eyeshadow applicator to try and rub some of the blue powder onto the clay, um, but I realised not enough was coming off onto it. So in the end, I decided to scrape some onto a piece of paper and then just rub it on with my fingers and this worked a lot better. I then took some of the darker blue holographic glitter and I just spread some of this onto my work surface and then I kind of used my finger to pat this onto the clay and I just rolled it around in the palm of my hands again to make sure all the glitter was stuck on properly. Next to make the ring around the planet, I'm using black polymer clay and I'm rolling this into a long coil and then rolling it down with my rolling pin. I then used my blade to cut it to size and I also decided to rub on some of the black holographic powder. To help me attach this onto the planet, I'm just using some Scorby Bacon Bond, which is a liquid clay, and I'm just applying this around the planet before then attaching on the ring. Next it was time to make the cat, so I firstly shaped the head and the body and then I attached them together by blending the join with my needle tool. To create the ears, I made a little diamond shape with some white clay and I attached on an even smaller pink diamond. I then cut this in half with my blade so that I had two even sized triangles and then I just positioned the ears onto the head. Now moving on to the face, I firstly created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I placed in two balls of black clay. For the mouth, I made two small U shapes of black clay and I placed these together between the eyes and then I also added some little pieces of black clay for the whiskers on either side of the face. To help secure the cat onto the planet, again I'm using my Sculpey Bacon Bond. 
I then went ahead and created the legs by rolling two coils of clay and then I just trimmed off the end pieces. I also made sure to attach on a tail as well. I then also added an eye pin to make it into a charm and then I went ahead and baked it in my oven according to my package's instructions. After baking it was time to add some of the little extra decorations and details. So here you can see I'm beginning to add some of the gold leaf and I'm using my UV resin like a glue to help me attach this on to the charm. To add the constellations, I'm using some white acrylic paint and my dotting and needle tools and I'm just painting them on. And then lastly, I'm using these little purple embellishments that came in the box and I'm adding these to the ring of the planet to look like little space rocks. I then glazed the whole charm using UV resin and then I was completely finished. So here's what my finished Planet Cat charm ended up looking like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.